Hello buddies, welcome back, it's Anne Sophie and today I have the Galaxy S23 for you. This is the package the phone comes in and we're gonna unpack and set it up together. And this is what it looks like when we take off the top. We have a little um, thingy here. So here we have the SIM card ejector and just a quick start guide and some other information about the phone. So that's in here. And then we take this and take that off. And so this is what the phone looks like. So this is what the phone looks like. Really nice, I think. From first impression, looks a bit like an iPhone, like just from the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up now. We get welcomed in different languages. You can, I guess, make emergency calls. And when you click on this little mannequin, then you can customize the size of the screen and the letters so that it might be easier for you to set up when we go back we click on start and this pops up insert a sim card we're going to do that in a separate video so we're gonna ignore that for now and now we set our language and we want it in english for your review, check out the privacy policy to see how we manage your data. I agree to and user license agreement and I agree to the sending of diagnostic data. Or you can also say I agree to all. Um, I'm going to agree to the end user license agreement. You don't really need to agree to the sending of diagnostic data, but that's up to you. So we say I agree set up using another device to copy settings accounts and more from another phone or tablet keep it nearby and unlocked so you can now choose a galaxy or android device or an iphone or ipad um, to like transfer data and stuff um, but we can also skip this part right here sometimes it's just nice to start fresh again but i also don't have another device um, to copy anything from right now so we say skip choose a wi-fi network you want to connect to a wi-fi to be able to like download stuff surf the internet whatever it is so i'm gonna connect to our wi-fi right now so i put in my password right now when you click on that little eye it will show you your password so you can check that you put it all incorrect um and then say connect hopefully i put it in all right yep all right, server provider setup, checking service provider information. This could take a few minutes. Your phone needs to restart to set up features and services from your service provider. All right, restart. Hopefully my Wi-Fi connection is still there because I don't want to put in my password again. So I see the little bar right here, but nothing else is happening. So I'm a bit confused. There's a little arrow. Samsung setup wizard isn't responding. Wow, that's a great start. Well, close up. All right, so that was it. Okay. Connect to a mobile network, choose an option below or insert a SIM card to get connected. Are a few options to like use a SIM card nowadays. I don't really get the hang of it now, um, but you can scan a QR code from service provider. You can transfer SIM from another device or search for an eSIM again. Um, we say skip because we will insert a SIM card in a separate video. Getting your phone ready. Okay, copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more from another device. Um, so if you click on next, it will show you your next steps. So like get your device, get a cable or something um, or connect them otherwise. And then you can like transfer everything that you would like. But as I said before, you don't have to and it's also nice to like start fresh again and also i don't have a device to copy anything from 
So we say don't copy. Sign in with your Google account. So you now want to sign in into your Google account so you can use the Play Store and stuff. Um, if you do not have a Google account yet, you can create an account and then the phone will go with you through the steps that you need to take. Like you need to design an email address, I think, or you put in your Google email address. I'm not quite sure, but you will get the steps and then get to your Google account. So I will sign into my Google account now. Yep, that should be right. And my password. So same here, if you click on show password, it will show you your password. You can just check if it's all right. Um, and hopefully I got it all right now. And we click on next. Yep, that looks good. Then you have some more information here. We published the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services by clicking I agree you agree to these terms you're also agreeing to the Google Play terms of service to enable discovery and management of apps and remember the Google privacy policy describes how Google handles information generated as you use Google services you can always visit your Google account account dot google dot com to take a privacy checkup or to adjust your privacy controls you only have the option to don't add this account now or to say I agree. Um, if you click on these blue thingies, the Google Terms of Service, the Google Play Terms of Service and the Privacy Policy, you can read through more information. But if you want to add a Google account, you need to agree to that. Google Services, tap to find out more about each service, such as how to turn it on or off later. Data will be used according to Google's privacy policy. So you have use basic device backup, use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data, doll apps and updates. So you have more information if you click on this arrow there. As before, you don't need to have send usage and diagnostic data on, but that's totally up to you. If you turn off the use location, then the allow scanning will turn off automatically with it only if the location is on you can turn on and off the LR scanning so you can enable and disable these as you want and then click on accept choose your search engine the search engine that you choose will be set as default in search box on your home screen and in chrome the app will be installed from play you can install other search apps and reconfigure your home screen and chrome at any time so you can choose between some search engines if you click on the little arrow there you get more information about it for example ecosia plant trees and protect your privacy as you search um, sounds pretty good. We're gonna go with that for now. But as it's at here, you can reconfigure your home screen and Chrome at any time. Next up, protect your phone. Prevent others from using this phone without your permission by activating device protection features. So you can set a face recognition, a fingerprint, a pin, a password, and a pattern. Um, that's up to you. You can do that now. We're gonna do it in a separate video though. So we're gonna skip right now skip anyway access your assistant with hey google if you agree google assistant will wait in standby mode to detect hey google hey google also requires voice match so your assistant can recognize you so you can say skip or i agree then you can go ahead and set it up i'm going to say skip right now access your assistant without unlocking your device just more information about the hey google assistant uh, we're going to skip this part right now getting your phone ready this may take a few minutes find your lost phone oh find your lost phone even if Australian sync your apps share files with your friends Samsung account okay email phone number sign in with Google I'm pretty sure you can sign into your Samsung account anytime later so we're gonna say skip skip out on all of this Samsung wallet Samsung cloud Bixby galaxy theme Spotify yeah, for now, we're gonna go ahead and say skip. 
Samsung services uh, shares information between Samsung app services and devices to provide a seamless experience. Customization service, nearby device scanning, smart suggestion. I find that word pretty hard as English is not my mother language. And, well, you can read through these and enable or disable these as you like. I'm gonna go ahead and say agree. Choose your display preference. Apps notification and other content will appear light or dark depending on which one you choose. So you can choose the light theme now or the dark theme now. Let's see how that looks. So you can see the difference, obviously, I would think. I'm pretty sure you can also like change styles later on in your menu, in your settings. I'm gonna go with a light appearance now, but you can choose whatever you like best. If you like the dark theme type of person or the light theme type of person, I'm gonna say next now. You're all set up, finish or explore your galaxy. We say finish. Um, but you can totally go ahead and like explore your galaxy more if you like that. So we're now on our home screen. This is what it looks like. So we're done with like the setup. We went through the first steps and now we can go ahead and like insert our SIM card and make some other settings to customize our phone a bit more. I hope you liked it. Hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.